Hello and welcome back to Fire Emblem Fates Conquest Lunatic. We are about to start on Chapter 4, uh, but before I do that, I wanted to note uh, I ran the numbers after last time and 0.4 to the 7th power is just under... It's, it's 0.0016, so it's less than 2 uh, one-thousandths uh, or less than two and one thousand chance. It's like, you know, less than two tenths of a percent. That was the, the phrasing I was trying to come up with there. Um, I'm sure probably less likely things have happened. And I mean, if you play enough, you know, play a game enough, you're going to see events like that from time to time, though you won't always notice them, uh, that way. But <laughs> that was pretty, pretty insane. Yeah, so it does look like this is going to be that first Shiden chapter. Yerp. Listen. Okay, so right, we get dragon veins that we can use to clear a path. We get a bunch of faceless, and we have to go rescue Hinoka and Sakura, and we can't control Ryoma. I remember these things. Okay. Um, I don't know what you get from the village. I think we want to send... Oh, we all have five movement? Okay, so it doesn't so much matter who we send there. But not Korin, because we need... Oh. Okay, thanks. Um... We need Corrin to hit those dragon veins, and unfortunately we cannot hit any of them on turn one. Oh, I guess Ryoma will probably activate some of them. Thank you very much. Got a Psycon? Okay. Not gonna use that just now. Uh, there's some amount of, like manipulation of Ryoma's AI you can probably do, I think, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. So the first question is, do we want to blast this one or this one? My recollection is that it's better to go this direction. It's not based on anything in particular, but I guess I'll go with it. Uh. Huh? Ryoma can get to this guy, so he probably just dies. Um, seven speed, fifteen attack. Not too threatening. This guy is behind a bunch of fours. He's not going to be in range no matter what we do. Okay. I'm thinking we want to just sort of leapfrog as far forward as possible. Next dragon vein we want to get is either this one or probably not this one. Probably we don't want to get up onto there yet. So probably this one. So I don't think we're going to be able to get there next turn regardless of what we do. Still gonna separate. Oh, the enemy goes first. Okay. Whoops. Oh, alrighty then. Get him. Yeah, we're not going to auto-battle thanks for your map, but I don't think so. Alright, let's get... Let's get Corrin up there with Kaze. Have him hit this guy. Although maybe, now that I think about it, maybe I should have had Rinka support him. Could he have killed with that? Probably not. But maybe... How many woods are in between here? Three? Yeah, I might have done this all wrong, because I don't think we're going to be able to get... Oh, well, maybe if we... 
One, two, three, four. Yeah. I'm not gonna be able to get to that dragon vein next turn. Yeah, I think I've. I have done goofed. Although, don't ninjas give you an extra point of movement? I can't see it here. Eh, I don't know. But I don't think separating is gonna help anything anyway. Ow! Oh my gosh. That was a lot of damage. I wonder if that guy had... I know that there are enemies on this map that have, like... Is it death blow? I don't think it's death blow. I think it's... Poison strike. That's not what I was thinking of. Maybe he just... It's freaking hard. I don't know. Or maybe Kaze doesn't have much defense. Either way. Um... Maybe we don't need to get this dragon vein. Maybe it's not actually that relevant. Well... Hmm... I would like to... heal Kaze, but I would also like to get another space further forward. You do, you do gain a point of movement. Okay, that's good to know. So let's... Let's do this. Let's separate like that, and then we can get that extra point of movement next turn. Still doesn't accomplish a whole heck of a lot, but... Uh, do we want to use that vulnerary? I'm going to do 17... Uh, I mean... It's not super efficient. We only have one of them, although I don't know that we're going to end up using it up anyway. These guys can't go anywhere, right? All right. All right. Let's, let's not for now. I had a plan for how I was going to take that guy out, but Ryoma is there for us. Whoops. Okay, so we do want to do this. Rinka... Okay, if we want to heal... I mean, ideally we would have Sakura heal us, but... Something we can do... Grab Kaze. Switch. Oh, that's a kill. Hello. Although, maybe I should have transferred. Leave it to me. Oof, these guys can both get to Kaze too. All right. Does talking to them actually accomplish anything now? I think Kaze might just die here. That is my concern. Although, if I screen them off here, maybe not. Maybe if I go... You're getting a defense boost of two. They can't both get around you. This guy can't get there, so I think... You can get attacked by two guys and you have your defense sealed. So I think what we do is we transfer... Oh, we could actually switch. Because you're at full health. Rather than using the vulnerary. Yeah, let's do that.
Oh! Oh my god, I did not see that one coming. Well, good dodge, Kase. <laughs> Dang. Dang. Okay. Um... Oh, one shot. Let's go. Soccer, you want to come over here and heal us? I'm here to help. No. Okay. Maybe I talk if I talk to you. You will. Are you okay? Thank you so very much. I see. Yes. Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. All right. Well, we're gonna need corn to come up and use the dragon vein. I guess I'll go ahead and vulnerate Kaze. We're gonna want to do that on Corrin too, unless Sakura does decide to heal us. Thank you! Uh, uh, Ryoma's in the way. Like, we can still talk to Hinoka, but... <laughs> Alright, maybe I'll get Kaze healed this turn. Trade the vulnerary. That might work. Are you okay? Everything will be all right. Understood. Hey. Huh? Well. Thank you. Oh, did we get another yes. vulnerary? Huh? A concoction, even. Ooh. All right. Well, I'm gonna use this. Uh. Hope that Sakura heals me, and then have Corin plus Rinka use the. She didn't do it. Come on! What are you doing? Ugh. It's like my recollection is that these enemies are actually pretty tough because you get the poison strike one, then the seal guy with 19 attack. Be rough. You get some defense out of this. I don't know if Ryoma is going to come over here either. I don't think he is. We're going to get. Obliterated. We can bait one of them into attacking Kaze, although he's not at full health, so maybe that's not even safe. Are you at full defense right now? Yes. Okay, that's good. 17 attack. I mean, you won't die, but... I mean, is it even a good thing for the one of them to attack Kaze? I mean, they're not going to be able to... They can surround us. Oh, God. I mean, we'll get some shield gauge. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe we'll just die. <laughs> I don't know. I think it is a good thing for them, one, them to attack Kaze, so long as it's just one. Although, if one of them moves first and they do a dual strike against him, he will die. Ugh. Why didn't you just heal him, Sakura? Seriously, what the heck? You've got the two-range staff. You can do it. Actually, I didn't realize she couldn't move. Ugh. What's more likely? All right, let's just actually do the math, I guess. You've got 12 effective defense. Take five, you take three, you take a lot more. Three. So five, three, and three is 11. Uh, and 7 is 18, plus Poison Strike, plus a Seal, depending on the attack order. Yeah, I'm gonna move. I'll say here. 
Oh god, the seal happens first. That's so bad. Okay, I think the other guy got boxed out, so that's nice. Um... So now, I think what we do... is... Aze dies? Well, I guess we can also have him use the concoction. This guy, yes. And then this guy can't reach Corrin. Okay, so you can kill this guy. You can kill that guy. Remain calm. And kill that guy too. We do eventually get Kaze back, so giving him XP isn't even bad. I should have put Corrin next to him. But whatever. That is not... Oh no, that is safe. Okay. Fifteen turns, man. That's... that's uh... That's a lot of turns. <laughs> the enemies are pretty tough, though. Like, I mean, I, you know, I, you can kind of feel the lunatic going on there. They're not total pushovers. And I totally would have died if Kaze hadn't dodged that one attack, too. And I had to use all of my healing items, and I was still, like, pretty injured by the end. I mean, Sakura could have totally helped me out a little bit more, like, that one turn where Kaze was standing there and she didn't heal him. It was pretty rude, but... Anyway. Oh, well. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, that will do it for now. And next up will be Chapter 5, which is... I think it's the one where, like, you... After the sword explodes and you turn into a crazed dragon. Maybe that's Chapter 6. No, Chapter 6 is, like, the actual, like, route splitty chapter. So I think Chapter 5 is the explodey sword one. Yeah, I think so. Either way, until next time.